All right, so we're going to look at the final equation of a straight line in the form y equals mx plus c. We start off looking at parallel lines. Now, the format y equals mx plus c, and you should know from the lessons in school that m is the gradient and c is the y intercept. So, what we're looking at in this particular example is a case where the gradient m is the same. I look at my um, line as 1.2. So we take line 1, if we move across 1, we go up to 3, across 3, we go up to 3. So for line 1, the gradient part is 3, and for line 2, it's exactly the same. Go across 1, up 3, so we've got line 3. Now if we're not finished, I actually have to write on the intercept part. Now the intercept for line 1 is where it cuts the y axis. This is the uh, where you cut the y axis, x is 0. So if x is 0, it doesn't matter what the gradient is, the c value will be found um, going across the intercept. So this will be 0. So what, to go through 3, um, if x is 0, then this must be 3. So our first graph is 1 equals 3x plus 3. Now our second graph has got the same gradient, so we've written that in already, but it goes through minus 4. So the second graph has the equation 1 plus 3x minus 4. Now we're going to finally look at um, lines that are going through the same point. The value of c is the same. So in this particular case, all our graphs will be in the form of 1 equals mx plus 3. What is different about them is the gradients. So for the this from um, the previous videos, if you've watched them, um, we'll start with <coughs> line 1, and do 2, and do 3. So with line 1, I go across 1 and come down 3. So why would people so down, so it's on the top, so I come down 3, cross 1, and we don't have to write 1, and so that's the equation of line 1. Just again, cross 1, we cross it on the bottom, but I've all that, it just uh, we can take to cross 1, and we came down 3. Now, if we go to line 2, we've gone across 1 and we've gone up 2. So line 2 will be 1 equals 2x. And again, if you think I'm going a bit quickly on these gradients, I've gone in the first of these videos, and I'm going to take lines, I go through this bit slowly. Later, I've gone across 1, not 2, so the gradient is 2, and c minus 3. And then finally, in line 3, this is a fractional gradient, we've gone across 4. Go up one. So the gradient here is y equals a quarter x, quarter x plus 3. Again, just to show you that quarter, we went up one plus 4, and that's why it's a quarter. See you in this video.